Once upon a time, in a small, dark room, a young woman sat crying all by herself. <laughs> Suddenly, a door opened and in hobbled a very short, one-legged man with red cheeks. Why are you crying, young lady? asked the one-legged man. <laughs> The king has ordered me to spin all this hay into gold, but I don't know how to spin, cried the young woman. If I help you, said the one-legged man, then you must give me your first-born child, when you become queen, of course. The young woman was so desperate, so helpless, that she agreed immediately to the one-legged man's condition. Yes, yes, anything you want, anything! The one-legged man sat down at the spinning wheel and started spinning. I'm so cool, I'm so bold, I'm gonna turn this hay into gold! In just a few minutes, the one-legged man spun all the hay into pure gold. The king was so happy with the young girl that he married her that very day. The young lady was now the queen of the land. When the queen had her first child, a beautiful boy, the one-legged man came to see her. Okie dokie, queenie said the one-legged man. Give me your son, as you promised you would. No, no, please, leave my son with me. There must be a way out, said the queen. Well, if within three days you can tell me my real name, then I will leave you alone, said the one-legged man. The queen immediately sent messengers to every single place in the kingdom. But, no one knew the one-legged man's name. Then, on the third day, one messenger came back with the man's name, which was Rumpelstiltskin. When the sun set on the third day, the one-legged man came into the palace. Okie dokie, Queenie. Say my name, say my name. Is your name John? asked the queen. Nope, replied the one-legged man. Is your name Jack? asked the queen. Ha <laughs> ha, wrong again, laughed the one-legged man. Is your name Rumpelstiltskin? <gasps> what? Who told you? How? What? sputtered Rumpelstiltskin. Rumpelstiltskin was so furious that his entire face turned beet red and he ran yelling and screaming from the palace. He was never seen again. The queen, the king and their beautiful son lived happily ever after.